Hi, I'm Monica and welcome to my review of Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare. This is the third in the last book in the Last Hours trilogy and this is going to be a spoiler-free review for Chain of Thorns but there will be some spoilers for books one and two because this is the finale of the trilogy. In this one, we're set in London in the Edwardian era, which is in the early 1900s. We're following a new group of shadow hunters that are actually the children of other characters that we've met before. And going into this book, I was very excited to get back into the world of shadow hunters and demon fighting along with their characters Cordelia, Lucy, James, and the other Merry Thieves. Let's just get right into my review. Train of Thorns was a good YA fantasy book and it really did meet my expectations of what I would expect from Cassandra Clare. However, there were some things that I did not like and I'll go into that in a little bit. I did rate this one a 3.5 out of 5 stars. The beginning of Chain of Thorns wasn't super exciting for me because I felt like it was a continuation from book 2 but I felt it was a lot of plot set up, a lot of conversations going but not a lot of action. There are several moments of angst which I will get to in a little bit and we did get a lot of tying up of loose ends to fit into the continuity of the Shadow Hunters universe and of the future plot lines. Once you get past the slow part, you really see how Cassandra Clare's strength shines through her writing with the focus on the characters and their friendships and relationships. And we continue to see the great depth that these characters care for each other. Although there are moments of despair, almost everyone gets a happy ending. Now I'm going to be talking about some characters and some of their specific storylines. I'm going to start off with Cordelia and her potential suitors. In books 1 and 2, there were hints along the way that these two boys did have feelings for Cordelia and that really came to light in this book. It's another love triangle which I don't mind but I feel like in Cassandra Clare's books, there are so many love triangles so it would have been better if maybe this romance issue for Cordelia was resolved early on. For me, it was painfully obvious who Cordelia would end up with. And again, the miscommunication trope was so loud throughout Cordelia's relationships and situationships. Cordelia on her own may seem a little bit self-centered or self-absorbed in her own world and her own problems, but when it comes to when it matters the most, she does come through. And I really don't blame Cordelia for being so much in her own head throughout this entire book because the mother of demons is kind of commanding her. <laughs> Next up, we see how Lucy is grappling with ghosts, quite literally, <laughs> with real ghosts, and how her evolution of her powers and the consequences of her using her powers. For Lucy, her powers really do tie in and influence her love life. In this installment, we do get so much romance and that was really a focal point in this book was the variety of romances that we get. And in unique Shadowhunters fashion, we see different special ways of how our characters find love, even with a ghost. Lucy as a character is one that can come off as quite naive and so young compared to Cordelia but their friendship as best friends really shine through. I also did listen to some parts of this book on audiobook and I think that the voice the narrator used for Lucy, it really made Lucy more naive, if that makes sense. Like the tone of her voice was more young compared to how Cordelia kind of has to take charge in some situations more so than Lucy does. On to the other characters very quickly. James is dealing with his demon grandfather and his love issues. Matthew is still very sad and is trying to recover from his alcoholism. Then we have Thomas, Christopher, Alistair, and Anna who are all like supporting characters and they are all dealing with their own relationship issues as well and finding their way in this world. Grace can be viewed as a supposed villain for many of our characters, but in this book she's pretty much locked away for a lot of it, trying to overcome the traumatic treatment from her own mother. Personally, I would say that having so many characters can push 
onto the brink of becoming overwhelming, but it really does highlight how deep the bonds that all these characters have with each other. Going on to just the broad category of talking about relationships in this book, many of our characters do find a happy ending except for one character, but I won't say who. There are several relationships that do come to fruition and we see how these characters really do care for each other. I like saying each couple's journey, but I felt like every single character in this book was in a relationship of some sort and that really was highlighted throughout the entire book, like admitting their feelings or really committing to their partner. Cassie Clare here does a really good job at establishing the relationships and I think establishing the ones that are really important for the continuity of future Shadowhunter timelines and future Shadowhunter characters that we already know of. Overall, it was a good time with the relationships, but again, I felt like sometimes I was like reading through some of the scenes and like, again, another relationship scene, and it just felt repetitive at that point in the book. I do have to say I am a huge fan of the Shadowhunters books. I've read all of the main series, all four of them now. However, I'm considering that it's almost time for these books to wrap up and to have a solid conclusion instead of continually having more books about the Shadowhunters' children. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I still think the books are still very fun to read and the characters are very captivating and I cheer them on for when they go on their growth journeys. I think it's simply that I am outgrowing the YA genre but also I'm going to be honest here, I think I will still continue to pick up that last final trilogy in the Shadowhunters universe. I hope it's the last final trilogy because, like I said, I do love this world, but I do want to see like a final conclusion for everyone that we've met over the four series. I think overall, I had a fun time with this trilogy. I just thought that there could have been less conversations, more action, more of like bringing people together instead of tearing them apart just for the sake of drama. But I did have fun with the Last Hours trilogy and I do really love all the characters in this book. And I think that's all I had to say for this review. And I hope you enjoyed watching this review and can pick up Chain of Thorns when you do have the time to do so. I hope you all had a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!